must be used to you in the car. Is they, that, is that yeah. man? They, they actually, uh, the animals, they, they learn. Yeah. They learn very, very quickly. Yeah. If they see this vehicle, because they green vehicles, mm -hmm. they know, ah, uh, we, we see these vehicles every day. They don't do anything to us. But if yeah. they see the white vehicle or the red oh. or different colors, yeah. they react very quickly. They don't stay, they don't relax, they just mm. move. Mm. Move that way because they don't know that vehicle. Alright. And um, I don't know if you guys have noticed on these impalas, I want you to look carefully. Look down on their hind legs. Alright? Mm -hmm. Right on their hind legs. You will see they've got a black, black mm -hmm. tough hairs. Can mm -hmm. you see that? You've mm -hmm. seen impalas before. So if you look on their hind legs, right on their hind legs, right on their ankles, they've got a black tuft hairs, right mm. there. Okay, those hairs, they actually, this is a gland, gland mm -hmm. that actually helps them when they run. Because most of the predators, cheetahs, mm. leopards, wild dogs, they will go for impalas because they are actually medium-sized antelope. They're not small and then they're not big. If the leopard go for impala, it's easy for the leopard to, to grab impala and drag it up into the tree because the leopard eat all mm. the way from on the trees. The cheetahs eat right on the ground. They don't drag the prey up to the tree. So it's easy for them. So when they run, they will make that alarm call. <laughs> <coughs> and then they, they know, and then they run, shoop, run in a straight line. So when they start running, if you watch them, right underneath the tail, they white. That white is called a follow me signal or a follow me mechanism. They they warning each other, they telling each other, especially for the babies, say, look, come, follow me, I'm running this direction. Mm -hmm. Because it's easy for the babies to see white in the bush, then green or black. Mm -hmm. And then they follow through, the white, white, white. But if the cheetah or whatever is close towards them, they will just run into different directions. Okay, the cheetah maybe pick up one, mm. caught one. When they run, those gland, they sweat. And then they secrete a pheromone right on the grass, on top of the grass. So that when they get lost, oh. they can smell that pheromone and then they can regroup <laughs> together. They use those glands. They don't mark territories for their clans, but they only use it for, especially when they run, to regroup each other, so to, to, to find each other right in the bush after get lost in the bush. And they are the only ones with, uh, with those uh, uh, clans. They called metatessal clans, metatessal clans or fatlock. Those are the name of those clans. These are the females that you're seeing here. Males have got horns. Right at the back there's one male with horns. Mm. Right at the back. Why? Why do they have? Why do they have horns? Why do males have horns? To fight. Fight to defend themselves and fighting because they, the impalas they they mark their territory. They very aggressive. When it comes to watch uh, towards March, they can start rutting. We call it a rutting. They make a sound, like a sound. They they fight, fight, fight for for females. And then until there be one dominant male starting holding his territory, then you can keep all the females and you can mate with them. They say one impala can mate up to 40 impalas. No. One male, 40 mm. females. Like one male. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, when they mating, they only want a dominant, a strongest male. So if that male start mating with all those females, He's gonna lose condition. He's gonna get weak, and then the other dominant male oh. from the bachelor head is gonna come. <clears throat> in, it's gonna kick him out. So now you are weak. You can't breed anymore. Kick him out. Go back to the bush and feed and be strong. Mm -hmm. Then he will mate with those females. Then he will feed, feed, feed and gain strength and condition, and then he'll come back because he's a dominant male. Kick him out again, and then you can. They actually mm. need. They rotate mm. the genetics. They need actually the strongest. All the animals actually they. They need the strongest mm -hmm. uh, male. That's why they they always mm -hmm. strong, very very strong. Even the water beast, you'll find the 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 very beast one male. He will be sitting in one area for one, two, up to three weeks, marking his territory, defending his territory, defecating 
urinating, rubbing the trees. They use the plants right, right on their eyes called pre orbital glands. They rub them on the trees to attract the females. Okay? So if any females comes around, he will chase, 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 chase for an hour because he must be strong. Chase them, chase them, chase them, keep them right in his territory, then he will mate with those females. Sometimes you may think they live in like a very nice life, sometimes not. Sometimes it's difficult. <laughs> That's cute, that little baby wildebeest. Mm. Thing around there. They, you see the you see the color of the babies. Mm -hmm. They match very different compared to the to the to the oh, to the yeah. older. Why the colors are like that? What is the re why? Closer to the ground cover. Right? Closer to the ground. Yes, mm -hmm. they close to the ground, especially when it comes towards the uh, winter time. The grass become brown. Mm -hmm. They blend in very very nicely with the grass, so the mm -hmm. predators can't see them. So that's why they they've got that rufous color like a reddish <coughs> color so that they can just blend in quickly in the bush and then nothing can see them <coughs>